హాయ్ ఐ ఎమ్ ప్రసాద్ ఐ ఎమ్ ఏడబ్ల్యూస్ అషూర్ అండ్ టెరాఫామ్ సర్టిఫై ఇన్ దిస్ ఎంటైర్ ప్లేలిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద వీ కెన్ సీ అబౌట్ ద గిట్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ వీడియో ఇన్ దిస్ ప్లేలిస్ట్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ కెన్ సీ ద గిట్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ సో ఫస్ట్ వీ కెన్ సీ ద వాట్ ఈస్ గిట్ గిట్ ఈస్ ద డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటర్ వెర్షన్ కంట్రోలింగ్ సిస్టమ్ this distributed version controlling system is one of the type of version controlling system it can record the history of that projects and it can save the changes what happening in that project and it can helps to work with collaborated way that is the distributed version controlling system and it was developed by linux torvalds in 2005 he is the finnish american software engineer it can best known for created the linux kernel that is the core of the linux operating system and this guild helps to track changes in the source code files during software development this means if any changes happening in that git repository files that changes will all stored or recorded in that git so this is the uh, introduction to the git and next we can see why we need git so here the we can use the git to we can work with collaboratively among multiple developers this means if you can work in that projects there are so many developers working in that projects uh, they all are develop the codes and here uh, the one main code the most more developers can work collaboratively and uh, we can track changes what happening in that code who will change that code uh, what changes happening in that code that all informations are stored here and also if if you do any wrong changes we can easily roll back to the previous versions and also this feature is also available in the gits and this is another feature the branching and merging for parallel development this branching will helps to uh, reduce the complexity of the projects the developers can work in the particular branches that finally that add to the main code and merging is also like that so this all the features in git we can see uh, more future in upcoming videos thank you hi this video i talk about git architecture and workflow and then we can see how to install the git in our desktop in previous video we talk about introduction to the git and here we can see the how the git will work and what is architecture of the git let's move to next slide before we can see the architecture of the git and workflow uh, you know about these terms uh, there are the working directory staging area local repository and remote repository here first working directory this is one of the folder in our desktop that is the working directory here you can add edit the create the file and the files in the working directory are are, are the untracked files and we can move to the staging area before we can move the files to the local repository that uh, on previous stage that is the staging area here you can uh, add the file from working directory to staging area then that the files are called as the tracked files and you can see the another one term that is the local repository local repository means you can uh, install the git and type the git init command after the staging area then one folder is created in our local environment that is called as local repository and remote repository means that created in the remote server that means uh, it's the github like that first we can create a one github account and we can create a one repository that repository is called the remote repository and here you can see you have files in the local repository you want to move the file to the remote repository you can use the push command 
to move the file to the remote repository and the remote repository uh, is work with the uh, collaboration way if someone want to access that files they will push if they want to add the file means they will push the file and if they want to use the others file they can pull from our code clone from remote repository next we can move to the workflow So here you can see this is the diagram. So here is the remote environment. There is the GitHub. Here we can create a one remote repository. And this is the local environment. That means this is our desktop. You already know uh, what is uh, working directory. This is the directory uh, in our fold in our desktop. We can create, add or edit the files here. And then you can add the, use the git add command then you can move the file to the staging area this stage is called as the what are the files in this stage that files are called as the tracked files and after you move to the staging area if you want to move the file to the local repository you can use the git commit that means you can commit the one file that file will stored in the local repository here you can see the local repository is created by uh, you can using the git command git init that git init command initializes your working repository then it create a one local repository that file uh, name is dot git that is considered as the local repository and then you can use git commit to commit the file from staging area to local repository and now this is all the work we will do in our local environment and you can you want to move that file to the remote repository here you can use the git push command and push the file to the remote repository or you can do some changes or anything in our repository you can again clone or you can pull the file from remote repository to local repository so this is the workflow of the kit and is the another way uh, is another option also available we can directly upload the file into the remote repository so uh, this is the workflow and the architecture of the kit next we can see how to install the git in our desktop here i open my chrome here i type git download and you can see this is the official documentation git downloads click here and this tools are available in the OS Mac OS Windows Linux Unix I use Windows so I click this and you can see it can available in 32 bit git 64 bit git so here I can use the 64 bit click that now you can see it start downloaded once it downloaded you can install the git and let's and then we can see how to add the files to the working directory and then how to move the files from working directory to staging area and staging area to local repository we will wait
here the bit.exe file is downloaded. Now we open this file. Yes. And then you got this page. Here you can click next and this is the place where we can place the git and next 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 So now you can see the file is started. Now it installed successfully. Let's finish. Now we have the we have git. We have git in our uh, desktop. Let's see how to add the file and how to move the file to the local repository this, this, this is the new folder the name is my project this folder was placed in our desktop so this is an empty folder this folder is considered as the working directory now here uh, don't file no file here I create two text file here you can see I give the name one dot txt and here I you have another name create another file and that is the two dot txt okay now you have two file in your working directory I open the terminal so now uh, this is the path we are in user del desktop my project now we first we can check the git version So here you can see this is the git version 2.44.0 windows 1 is available in this desktop. Now first we can make this repo working directory to the local repository using this command to make that git init. Now you can you got one response initialize empty git repository in user del desktop my project dot git. Let's move here. Here you can see the one file is created, one folder is created. That is the local repository. Let's move here. Here I type the command. Git status. So you got you got on response the node commit available is untracked files. That means the files are in the working directory. So here you can see the two files here. These files are untracked files. Now we can move this file to the staging area. That that staging area is the tracked stage. So you can you can see how to add this file to the staging area that means you can type this command git add and type the file name type the name git add and type this command 
git dot text or two dot text uh, you can use this star that means it can select the all files it select the all files in the working directory again type the command so now again type the git status now you can see your files are in the staging area that means here you can see this is red this is green now these files are the tracked state next stage is the you can move the file from staging area to local repository that means you can add the git command but if you do the first time commit you can type this command to add your name and email id use this command git config hyphen hyphen global then type user dot email here type your email id i type my email id so this is enough that enter now you can enter your name I will give my name enter so this two commands we can use when we can do the first commit next we can move the file from staging area to local repository use this command git commit iphone m and then this is the message for our identification purpose i type this is my first commit so click enter now you got one response the two files changed zero in session and zero deletion that means you not add any not any edit in the file not delete any lines in the file and is created created mode let's check git status so here you can see on branch nothing to commit work tree clean work tree means that is the local repository so here no file in that so let's see you can see nothing to comment that means no file here so let's check the commit type this command git log this command will show the committed files you can see the commit id is here hit master and as author here uh, you can use the name and email id that are here and you can see the date where i can do this first commit this is the date the time and this is the commit message so now we commit one file from staging area to local repository now i will do some changes in the file in my working directory so here you can see i add some text here i will add this is first commit i add some message here then save this and 
now you have this message in this file and also I add another one message here this is second now we can modify these files let's go here then again type git status this means you can see it will show the one modif two modified file available here that means here we can do changes it will consider it as a one modification then it show here now we can again the same repeated commands we can use add commit and then again move this modification also to the local repository again you type the command git add star here you can see now these files in the our working directory these files are the untracked files now we can move this file to the staging area enter next type this command git status so here you can see modified files are ready for to commit now these files are in the staging area and these files are the tracker files now we have the file here now we can move this modified file to the local repository you can use this command git commit and iphone then can type the message i type this is my second commit enter you can see you got one response the message this is second commit two files changed because we can modify the files here and you can see we can add the lines in that file that means here you can see two insertion here now we can check the status git status here you can see the working tree is clean nothing to commit because the files are moved to the local repository let's check the commit git log here you can see there are two commit available here one is the this is first my first commit another one is the this is my second commit this also have the where i can who is the author to do this commit and where when he come do this commit so all details are here and you can move this file from local repository to the git repository and if you want to move this file to the remote repository first you can create your one github account and create the one public repository in that github account so that part of lab we can see in that another video so first understand this so you can do these likes of commits you can easily find the version so this is one version this is one version if you have any changes in that part you can again pull this part you can do changes then again commit so this is the way the git will works next video we can see how to create a repository in the github and how to push the image from local repository to the remote repository and we can see how to pull the files from remote repository to the our local repository thank you